So in this video I'm going to be covering the PF module which is one of the firewall modules for FreeBSD. There are other modules. This one seems to be the uh, most used and the nice thing about it is it's integrated into the base operating system so you don't have to actually install anything you can just start working with it. It's pretty easy just like everything else in FreeBSD uh, you override the the default state of the PF module in etcrc.conf so if you want it to run you simply go edit your etc.rc.conf file and say pf underscore enable equal to yes and it will automatically start that module uh, when you when your server reboots so in this case um, I'm going to sudo vim and the rc.conf file because that's the one I need to edit and as you can see here I've already put in fpf equal enable pf underscore enable equal to yes. You can also enable the logging feature. Uh, this probably you wouldn't want to do on a high volume server uh, if it's handling a lot of internet connections or getting banged up a lot. You may want to enable it just to see what's going on and, and just to get a better visibility into the network. But I would do it more in the lab environment than in production environment. Um, it's pretty fast and it probably doesn't have a lot of overhead but since I don't really look at those logs for now we're not going to enable that feature. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up a set of rules and again looking at the documentation pretty straightforward you edit the etcpf.conf file and you can enter your rule set here. Now I am using uh, this J65NKO's rule set which I found online in the FreeBSD forum and it was as simple as going to basic PF firewall rules and there's a lot of stuff that comes from uh, FreeBSD itself. This is actually the document we're looking at and the fourth one down for me uh, was this one that was in the forum and if you scroll down here the guy has the entire code for you here um, and again it, it worked pretty well for me so I used it as a launchpad for the final configuration that I used so in this case uh, we define the external interface as IGB0 that's what it is on my machine this will be different on your machine and the only type of ICMP uh, packets I want to allow is going to be echo request. Scrub in on external interface all fragments reassemble. And this is what I kind of like about this. If you understand what is going on, the language is pretty straightforward. Basically, we're taking all on interface, on this external interface, we're taking all the TCP IP fragments and we're reassembling them before we send them on to the PF module. Simple as that. So, uh, set skip on LO0. Basically, we're going to skip the loopback interface. In other words, we're not going to process anything on the loopback interface. Anti spoof for external interface. This one is more for if you're going to be routing. So if you're going to be forwarding packets from one interface to another interface it uh, it scrubs the header just to make sure that this really is a valid packet and it's not in a spoofed IP address and all that kind of stuff. But if you're just doing um, normal server type stuff I don't think you need it. I have it in there. Six of one half is in the other I really think. Now we get to the meat of it. Pass in quick on external interface INET protocol TCP from any from any host to the external interface to port HTTP. So in other words, anything coming to this external interface from any location that's HTTP, TCP IP, HTTP port, um, let it pass. And what quick means basically means that as long as this rule 
um, as long as the packet passes this rule don't process any other rules after it. It just makes it a little bit faster. For example, if you're running an HTTP server, I would probably, or HTTPS, you probably actually want to put the HTTPS ahead of HTTP because that would be probably the one that most people would be communicating on um, anyway. But in any case, HTTP, HTTP, and then SSH for the admins to be able to get in. Pass in quick on external interface INET proto ICMP for any to external interface ICMP type ICMP type. So basically, again, on this external interface, anything that's ICMP from any host to this interface of this echo request. Now, the original poster had actually done a good job of, of mapping out the outbound or egress filter as well but since I tend to be a little bit more lax I'm just going to do pass out quick on external interface all oh, so anything going out of that interface let it pass no problems um, probably when we come back to actually tighten down the server um, we'll probably go back and revisit this but for now again just to get PF up and running and then at the end of this block all and notice we have a block log all um, if you did enable logging you probably want to use block log all that way anything that was blocked is also getting put to the log the, the, the system log in this case we're just going to block all and drop it at some point again we may open this and read it and look at it and play around with it and it's probably a pretty good audit tool um, to see what's going on so here we are now I actually have PF running already so um, PF service status gives me some information on what's going on and I could use PF control minus s uh, I believe the command as it's explained explained here is rules in this case oh permission denied because I didn't use sudo and there you go. So here it is. Pass in quick on IGB INET protocol from any to the IP address of the host. Port HTTP flags. Keep state. And then pass out quick on unit. So there you go. And we are currently SSH into the system. Our firewall is up and running. And I don't have actually an HTTP or anything like that to show you anything but as you can see here, the server don't lie.